Hey everyone, I want to talk about the flexitarian diet. Um, it's not a diet that I would do, um, but I want to talk about it if anyone's interested in trying it. And you guys, I think you know that everything I talk about is something that I've tried or something that I, relates to my body. So there's so much confusion out there about do this diet, do that diet, be a vegan, be a carnivore. I relate everything on this channel to my experience in the last 45 years of doing things myself, trying different diets, trying different macros. So everything that I talk about is related to how it works for me and how my body works from my experience in the last 45 years. So the flexitarian diet is basically kind of a modified um, vegetarian diet or vegan diet where it's flexible, um, hence the name flexitarian, I guess. Um, it's flexible where you can eat some meat sometimes, like you might eat it twice a week. But for me, um, I'm like... What, what's the use? What's the purpose? Because I, the flaw, I think there's some flaws with, with every one of these diets. That's why each one of you has to figure out your macros for yourself. How much protein do you need to eat? How much fat do you need to eat? What kind of fat? And how uh, many grams of carbohydrates, fiber, all that stuff. You have to figure that out for you. I've got it figured out for me right now um, because I, I, I test my blood work. I mean, I get blood work all the time. So uh, that helps me know how, what diet's working for me. And I do um, change it up every once in a while. So um, if you're going to do flexitarian, I think maybe a weakness with it might be that you're not getting enough protein. Same with uh, a vegan diet. If you just eat, and, and again, remember, I'm relating this to me. My body works best if I'm getting 150 grams of protein a day or more. And when I say more, I don't mean 300 grams of protein. I mean 150 grams of protein to 200 grams of protein. And I weigh about 170 pounds. But if you're saying, okay, I'm just going to eat meat or uh, some, and I have, a, I have a couple friends that do flexitarian and they swear by it. They love it. It works for them. But if you're going to do, uh, I'm, I'm going to eat meat or fish once in a while, maybe that's twice a week. I think you're not focusing, let me say me, I wouldn't be focusing on my protein enough. Now, I use, um, when, when, I, when I do go vegan, which I don't do it a lot, but I have done it, to just get an experience from doing it, um, and everything was fine. Uh, I've told you this many times, my blood work was great, I did it for six weeks. But I have really good plant-based pea proteins that um, have the amino acids, the, all the essential amino acids in the right proportion. So that's a potential problem if someone is doing vegan or flexitarian. For me, I wouldn't be getting enough protein. I need to either you know, get the, the, the plant-based protein, the, the healthy ones with all the essential amino acids in the right proportion. For instance, leucine, two to one over isoleucine and valine. Those three are the branch chain aminos. That's important, but you need the other six essential amino acids also. So um, a flexitarian could do what I do when I do vegan, and that is... Um, uh, a supplement with essential amino acids could do that. Um, or you could do the protein powder, the plant-based protein powder, but then you, are you really being a, a flexitarian if you're getting, you're focusing and getting your protein every day? I don't know. It's just one that um, 
just seems kind of in no man's land for me. <laughs> Pick one or the other. Now, I've said this before too. My body loves carnivore. If I do carnivore for a week or two, which I haven't done in quite a while, because I know where my macros are best. You know, I've got my glucose in the mornings in the 70s now. It's 80 or lower. And my macros are sitting right at about 50 net carbs. Uh, net carbs, meaning subtracting the fiber out, not total carbs. So, but I do know that my body really likes carnivore. If I do it for a week or two, I, it's hard for me to go more than a week or two because I just, I want to, I want to get some, I want to eat some carbohydrates, you know, at least something. Uh, so I start going a little nuts if I'm on carnivore for too long, but my body does like it and responds to it very well. And it's kind of a great reset for me, but that's what I would say about um, going back to the flexitarian diet. It's something that I have never specifically tried. Be I mean, I have in a way because I've done the two extremes of a flexitarian diet. Uh, for me, I, I want to keep my macros where I know my body likes it instead of, you know, getting some protein a couple times a week or when I feel like eating it. I get the part where it's, it's flexible and uh, I think a lot of vegans are not, especially my age, a lot of vegans, if you're a vegan and you're my age, 61, good chance you're not getting enough protein and you're not, or you are eating way too many carbs if you're my age. If you're younger, I have found, again, relating it to me, when I was 20, 22, 25, I needed a lot of carbohydrates, a lot. And my diet was probably mostly carbohydrates. Not now. I can't eat that many carbohydrates now. So it's all about getting your macros right. Um, for me, the, flex, the flexitarian diet just seems kind of simple or kind of silly. So, um, I try to get my macros right, but that's my opinion on the flexitarian diet. I do have a couple friends, like I said, that swear by it and um, seem to be pretty healthy. And well, they swear by it. So um, that's it. Hey, if you guys like this type of content, we do a lot of interviews with doctors and nutritionists and personal trainers. Subscribe to the channel, uh, hit the notification bell. So when we come out with uh, new videos, which we, we do shorts, you know, pretty much every day. And we're coming out with four or five uh, videos every day. So subscribe to the channel, forward this on, uh, tell your friends. I really emphasize um, people who are aging, trying not to age, how to work out. And um, I relate it to me, you know, relating it to my workouts and um, what I eat and so on. And I feel great. I, I feel as good as I've ever felt. And I want to relay that information on what's worked for me to people that are aging or, you know, over 45, over 50, over 60, over 70. So if, if you're into that, uh, subscribe to the channel and I will talk to you soon.